The 1-1 one one San Diego Superchargers are in the news today talking about tight end Ladarius Green. Now Ladarius Green is filling in for the suspended Antonio Gates. Uh, Gates was suspended during the offseason. Um, I think it was for um, testing positive for a banned substance by the league, and he's going to be missing five games of the season. Um, he's going to be back after week five. And this is going to be a very you know, you know know disappointing time for the charge at the tight end position because right now not only do you have Antonio Gates out, you can possibly have Ladarius Green out missing not one but two weeks potentially with the concussion his second concussion in the past 11 days now I bet the last two weeks have been a living hell for Ladarius Green as he is supposed to be that next phenom tight end in the NFL you know you have the Jimmy Grahams but under Jimmy Graham you know who else is out there I mean you can make a case for you know a guy who I personally think can be you know much better than what he is in Kyle Rudolph out in Minnesota but you know you have your Jimmy Grahams you have your Antonio Gates as you know the two elite guys at tight end in the league next to Jason Witten I mean you have a nice list, but Ladarius Green is going to be the future of the NFL. A lot of people are saying that Ladarius Green could be the next Antonio Gates. I do see it in him, but right now, you know, the San Diego Chargers are going to do a lot of precaution. They have to do precaution, but they're not doing it right now. Ladarius Green is currently practicing through the two uh, through the uh, uh, concussions. Um, he, I know that last week against the game against the Cincinnati, the buildup for him going into the Cincinnati game was he was um, probable all week. Um, I don't know if he missed a couple of practices or not, but needless to say, he's still played and he sustained another concussion during the game against Cincinnati. Now what is being announced right now is that the San Diego Chargers did bring in veteran tight end Kyle Miller. If you guys know who Kyle Miller is, he is the son of former NFL quarterback Mark Miller who played for, I want to say he also played for um I don't know if Mark Miller played for the Indianapolis Colts, but I know Kyle Miller did. Um, Kyle Miller broke into the league back in 2012. He was an undrafted tight end out of Mount Union. Um, he's been around a lot of the NFL teams, you know, the Jaguars, the Colts, the Dolphins, the Falcons. Um, he made the San Diego Charter squad out of out of the preseason, um, but San Diego was just going to keep him around as a body depth. But, you know, right now with, you know, with only two tight ends right now on the roster, um, someone was going to have to leave. You know, Kyle Miller was going to be that likely guy out anyway, but they're bringing in back probably for the next two weeks at best because you're going to have Antonio Gates coming back soon and Green is expected to be out of action maybe about a week or two. Uh, he's still practicing so that's still kind of a good sign but you know what? It's a concussion. you got to treat this seriously because there's a lot of concussion issues going around in the NFL and right now if you do not you know take full good care of Darius Green it could potentially you know sideline him going forward. Um, I know some NFL players retire um, because of the health issues so I think you know right now Ladarius Green has got to either you know say in his mind that he's not practicing or the San Diego Chargers need to go a little bit lighter in practice on Ladarius Green um, I don't expect Ladarius Green to play this Sunday I know the Chargers are playing a 1-1 Eastern game um, this coming Sunday against the Minnesota Vikings on the road but needless to say San Diego does have a nice backup and David Johnson I know they're dealing with, they have not really gone to tight ends a whole lot in the season they've been going to Keenan Allen and Stevie Johnson and a little bit of Malcolm Floyd but you rarely you see any you know big you know plays um, from tight end throughout the last couple of games. I know Ladarius Green has gotten a couple of great catches, uh, but nothing too you know out of this world insane. There's a lot more development that needs to go about. But needless to say, I think right now the San Diego Chargers really got to rethink on how they're practicing with Ladarius Green because you don't want to lose Ladarius Green for the season. They really need a legitimate number two. I don't think Kyle Miller is going to be that number two guy if you know say Ladarius Green's um, health does not you know improve over the next couple of weeks. You know maybe Ladarius Green could potentially end up missing the season. You know, you're going to be very, you know, shorthanded at tight end. You're not going to put Gates in on every down. You know, you've got to do, you got to work around something. So, you know, right now, you know, David Johnson is going to be that guy that should be taking the majority of the snaps while Ladarius Green is out. And then when Antonio Gates comes back, then they'll be out of the woods right now. But Ladarius Green has got to get back to 100% health for Phillip Rivers and the Chargers to try to get back into the winning circle. I know last week was a very disappointing loss, a mental mistake by Phillip Rivers throwing into what triple coverage, um, which led to an interception to end the game against the Bengals and you know what the Chargers need to go back on, on you need to get back in the winning circle and they really need all their targets going forward for the season they are a Super Bowl favorite and a lot, a lot of people are saying really the Chargers are a Super Bowl favorite they are a Super Bowl favorite um, you just got to look around the web and you got to read it up you know that's I, I didn't say the Chargers are going to go into the Super Bowl um, I had my Super Bowl prediction at Colts and uh, Packers but you can never you know leave out the San Diego Chargers the team got very impressed you know I was very impressed what they did during the offseason they brought in the right talent now it's just you know putting it back onto the field. You know, you got a loss against Cincinnati. Now it's time to get back to the lunar circle with the victory over the Minnesota Vikings.